I want to begin by welcoming you guys here. Thank you for being here. Uh, it's an honor to be able to take this time to recognize you. Uh, typically, we do this in a, in a really large venue, and it's a big evening for us. It's called the Men of Impact. It's an evening where we induct our Hall of Fame class, but also honor all of our senior student athletes at one time. And so, you know, it's a room of about 150, 200 people, and there's a dinner and a meal and all this and that. But the venue is really not important. Well, what is important, what's important about that evening is that we take time to thank you, and we take time to recognize you, and we take time to appreciate what you accomplished on this journey of being a student athlete. Being a student athlete, you guys know this, it's not, it's not easy. There's a lot of ups and downs being a student athlete. It's a little bit like an emotional roller coaster at times, right? I mean, there's, there's days when you, you question, like, do I really want to be doing this? Should I be doing this? And then there's other days when you feel, you know, you feel like this is the best decision you ever made and, and you just can't wait to go to practice and you just can't wait to go compete in that contest. And so it's a mix of emotions that you face as a student athlete. And it takes a lot of perseverance. It takes a lot of tenacity. Um, it, it takes a lot of grit to, to, to manage, manage yourself through all. And, and the great thing is, when you walk away, what you can tell now is a, is, a, is a great story. It's a story of the fact that you completed the journey, right? That you, that you did it. And so, you know, I've, I've said this before, it's a small percentage of people that get the opportunity to play college athletics. And it's a really small percentage. It's an even smaller percentage of people that, that finish it, right? And so, now you can tell people that when somebody asks you, did you play college athletics, you don't have to be the person that says, yeah, but, I, but then I quit after a year. Or I decided I didn't really want to play it. You, you can say, no, I, I finished it. Like, as hard as it was at times, as demanding as it was, I, I found a way to finish the journey. And that's something that, that that's a story you tell for the rest of your life. And, and, the, and the lessons that you've learned and the skills that you've learned being part of the men's soccer team, all those, all those skills and traits that we talk about that are so important to, to putting together a good program, those are skills and traits and lessons that will transcend time. And those are things that you're going to lean on both in your personal life and in your professional life. So, so thank you, congratulations, and, and really a special thank you given the circumstances that we all endured this year, right? So, and endurance right after work because you guys found a way to thrive. Like we found a way to compete. We found a way to practice. We found a way to still create some great memories. And we found a way to be here together today. So, so thank you for all of that. And I also want you to know, too, that just because you're, you're graduating, it doesn't mean that you sh should not stay engaged with the Skating University. So continue to stay engaged with the institution. Stay engaged with the athletic department. Stay engaged with the university. You're part of the long and gentle line. There's a lot of people that leave the Skating that stay just as engaged as they were the day they walked in the door. So there's no reason why you can't continue to have that relationship with the school. Okay? And I want to encourage you. Encourage you. But I want to wish you, wish you the best, wish you the best of luck. And again, again, thank you. And uh, I'm really pleased that you guys are here. We have this opportunity to honor, honor you. Uh, well, first off, I want to just thank you guys. I know uh, Steve did a great job there. Um, I'm just thanking you guys for your time here. I know some uh, have been part of, the, part of the program a little shorter than others. But again, I think all of you guys, and Damon included, are, are certainly important to what we were doing and what we're building for the future. So. I know you put a lot of hard work into it, um, and, and so I, I certainly appreciate it. Seth appreciates it, um, and, and the, you know you guys have definitely raised the bar for us. But you know the senior class for you guys have been through a lot, from from the coaching change to to COVID. Um, you know, and not only did you handle those challenges like this year, you you made our program competitive in our conference, which you know for our standards it, it, that's what's important. Not that out of conference stuff, but what we do in the OAC and. And the three guys that played this spring, you know, definitely raised the standard um, both on and off the field. I know, you know, you two guys do a great job in the classroom, but, you know, Damon, um, you know, as, as the three captains, too, made sure you guys were holding the team accountable, which was so important, you know, for us to be successful and, and to, you know, continue to, to develop our culture with the program. So, um, you know, we, we were able to get an OAC win for you guys, which I'm happy about. And so hopefully in the future here that uh, you guys can come back and, and watch us play in the OAC tournament at, at some point here soon. So, uh, but we'll start with Mike Corgan. Um, Mike, if you want to come on up. 
Eastern Bethel Park, uh, Pennsylvania. He played as a center back primarily for us, but also played as a center mid. He's a, a three-year captain. Um, he's been multiple academic All-OAC. He uh, was honorable mention uh, OAC in 2018. And then after he graduates here, he's going to be working at Schneider and Downs, is that correct, as a, as a staff auditor. And then the next one is uh, Logan Gray. And Logan Gray is from Loveland, Ohio. He primarily played as a center mid uh, for us. Um, he was a captain his senior year as well. He was a four-year player uh, here at Muskegon, um, and has been also a multiple academic All-OAC, and then he's going to be attending uh, the University of Cincinnati for his master's in finance. Um, Adam Fox, I'll, I'll do him as well here. So Adam Fox uh, transferred to us, is a two-year member of the men's soccer team. He's from Cambridge, Ohio. Um, primarily played as a center back and a right back. Um, you know, and so he is going to uh, be working at the House of Samuel here in uh, Cambridge, Ohio, uh, after he finishes up. And then Damon Spaeth, who couldn't be here with us today, um, is uh, from Chesterfield, Indiana. He is uh, a goalkeeper. He was our starter the last two seasons and, and is a four-year member of the team um, and was a captain his senior year. He is uh, moving on is going to be the assistant coach or the graduate assistant here at Muskegon uh, starting next fall.